first simplified. Mm -hmm. Put this up like that. Mm -hmm. Go under the patient's arm. Yep. Three to four inches. Yep. Pull up. Yep. Then, oops, on a, like this. Mm -hmm. Pinch right here, like this, and then. Can I do it like this? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, like that. And then it has to cross over. Yeah, it has to cross over. Yeah. Okay, once you meet that X there. Yeah. Yeah, and then whatever is on the under of the thing, then you, you tuck this one underneath. I tuck this one? Yeah. Here? There we go. Yeah. There okay, you go. there we go. Oh, okay. So you'll have the bun bunny ears. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And oh. like that. Yep. And Good tension there. right there. And then make a fit. Perfect. Okay. And and can you feel my vein? Where's my vein at? <laughs> Here. Yep, exactly. Oh, you have like a marker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always donate at the, at the hospital. So. And then after That's I good. can do these. Yeah, so which, which over here would you pull? The smallest yeah, one. Yeah, the smallest one. There you go, perfect. There mm -hmm. you go, easy. Cool. There you go. Cool. Nice. Awesome. You want to practice one more time? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
should run. I think this is your best hope right here. This one? Yeah, right. It should not run sideways here. So, yeah, that's your basilic vein. What you want to avoid. Because sometimes. Wait, actually. Yeah, it's there something. Uh, underneath the smaller vein. Uh huh. Yes. But you're, for me, I would stick you right. Right here. Right there. Yeah. The median. Yeah. The median cubital. Okay. So, just keep in mind one minute is the max, 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. How to put it on? Then right after I do it a couple times, uh, I want you to put it on on me. Okay. Okay. I thought there's some people that do double tourniquet. Oh, okay. So the only time you do double tourniquet is if the vein is really deep, okay. and you would do double tourniquet just to make that vein more prominent. Like for example, if I had an obese patient, uh, really huge arms, and I noticed the vein is deep, I would double tourniquet, and it increases my chances for the vein to come out in the middle. Okay, so when you put it on, just keep in mind three or four inches above the site. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put it underneath. Okay, I'm gonna start stretching it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, cross over. Okay, this part here, I'm gonna pinch it at the same time. Go over like this. Okay, most important part when you do phlebotomy or to have a good vein pop up is the, it's all in tourniquet. Because if I make it loose, Okay, if I make it loose. Okay. Oh yeah. I'll do you think anything. do you think I'm gonna feel something? Yep. All right. It's gonna make my hard my job harder. Okay. So as long as the patient doesn't have loose skin, or you can make it tight enough for them. Okay. Because they're yes. You messed up. Which one? You you're not wearing gloves. Oh <laughs> no! This is more. No, because for a tourniquet you don't have to wear gloves. At all. Yeah. Yeah. No. When you're putting the tourniquet. But when you touch any body part. No, you can, but as long as you don't, um, when you do the, the hand, when you do hand sanitization, that's when you, before you work, stick the patient. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in this case here, because when it came in, I hand sanitized already. So when I, when I put it on the first time, when you're looking for the vein, because you can feel for the vein with your gloves, mm -hmm. but since you guys are just starting out, uh, since I made the list where you can feel for the vein, and then once you find your vein, then before you clean the site, then that's when you put on your gloves. Hand sanitize again, yeah. and then, okay. yeah. Or you don't have to have sanitize again. Uh, as long as you put in your gloves and then clean the site. So if you have your gloves on, then when you do it the second time, when you put the tourniquet on, that's you already have gloves already. Yeah. So when but when you're feeling for the vein, I highly recommend feeling it without your gloves first on a patient. Okay. So this will get you used to it because for me, the steps I do, I skip the first part is I don't put um, I wear my gloves right away, put this on, feel it. I can feel it already. Then I stick. But in this case here, since you guys are starting, just to get you guys familiarized with uh, where the vein is at, uh, you can do this, add this step in the beginning. Like, put on the tourniquet without gloves, feel for it. But once you have it, like for example, let's say if I have the vein already. Oh, your veins are showing now. Yeah, then I would put on gloves, clean the site, make it dry. So once I have gloves on, the site is dry, then I would reapply it. Okay, and then get my equipment and then stick. Okay. okay. Yeah. So in this case here, you're just only feeling for the vein. Okay. So just keep in mind. So what the way I did it. Um, Take a breath. Underneath. Okay. And then put it underneath here. Okay. So you'll have the bunny ears. Um, there's some on the video on the YouTube video. The guy does it like this. He puts it short here on this side. Okay. And then stretches it here. So. I think it's this way here. I think he does it like this. Short here, long here. So you're pulling this way. Yeah, pulling this way. And then he tucks it in. Because you'll have a short and long, so you'll know what to pull. Because you don't want to pull this one, you want to pull this one easier. Okay. So you pull it out easy. Okay, so just remember three or four inches. So when I put it on, arm stretch. Cross over, go under. So you want the bunny ears facing upwards away from the side because mm. you don't want this dangling here. Okay, so once it's there, uh, that's a good uh, tension on the turn. Okay, okay, so are you okay doing it on me or? Yeah. Okay, and then just practice and then I'll tell you if it's good or not. Okay, so at least we're gonna practice on how to put the turn because it always starts with a turn kit on how you. Um, why are you having to take pictures for your mom? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you want me to do a? Or, oh yeah. Um, yeah. You could just do the tourniquet first, but um, 
Uh, since you're gonna do that one, just wear your oh, yeah. shirt. Yeah. Sometimes with the uh, the whole PPEs when you have your. Just give me, I'm just um, gonna draw some blood on you today. Okay. Um, I just need to verify your first and last name and your date of birth. Okay, sure. Uh, first name, Ramel, last name, last school, date of birth, 10-6-98. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need you to Do you have any allergies to latex or? No, not. Okay, so right. when you see them, you're not, you're not expect, right? Yeah. Just gonna. So I'm gonna be drawing blood on your, your hands. Okay. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Okay. No, that's good. Good touch. Oh. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Let's see. No, it's not. Oh, try going over because you're gonna need it. Okay, so go ahead and do it again, and then. Uh, do it like whatever is in the bottom like let's say if you cross it over this way right mm -hmm. so this bottom one that's here on your bottom okay will go over and under like that so if you're gonna do that method that you were doing yeah like that so when you twist it right mm -hmm. okay so we'll do that one so we'll do your style and then so, so I was doing it with like this. yeah so so this one here yeah this one the bottom will go over like go over yeah so this one could just drop and mm -hmm. then this one there you go just like okay. that there you go, I'm just trying to follow that. the no, pointy ears. There you go, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this one side there, perfect. Okay. Okay, that's good. Good tension. Okay. And then, did you want me to hold here, or you want me to make the fist? It's up to you. Um, can you just make a fist? Yeah. Okay. Let me just go ready. Okay. This looks like a good name. Okay. Alright. Okay. So now I'm gonna prepare the equipment. Okay. Oh, before you prepare, what can you do like while you have to do something first and then you prepare? So while you're preparing, mm -hmm. it takes time to dry. Oh, okay. Let me sanitize your. Yes. Yes. Okay, go ahead and clean the site. Okay, but before you clean the site, what do you have to put on? Let me put on the gloves. Gloves, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. 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 Oh, and if you do the hand sanitizer, you mm -hmm. can just dry your hands too because it's going to be um, hard with the uh, with the mm -hmm. Right? Like, use one size smaller when you guys feel. Yes, yeah, smaller. Yeah. And then, mm. as you guys get uh, used to it, you could skip this whole process of like not wearing gloves, feeling it. So, how I normally do it, since I'm so used to already feeling it, uh, once I verify the patient, I put on gloves right away. Oh, okay. I put on gloves right away, I put a tourniquet, I feel, I sanitize, wait for it to dry, and then I stick. Okay, so it, it just cuts it in half. This part here where you feel for it is just because you guys are starting out. But if you guys are used to it, then that's when you can skip that whole process of feeling well without the glove. Okay, so if you feel comfortable feeling with the glove, then you can do what, you know, do it straight. Oh, sorry. Okay. <coughs> Let me just sanitize. Okay. 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 
Okay. So that's good that you're feeling before you uh, test for this particular thing. It gives you an idea where uh, you can test the vein one more time before you sanitize it. And then if mm -hmm. you do want to feel again, it would have to be either below or above the site, but that's where you're going to stick. Okay. okay. So that's perfect. So while it's drying, so what can you do? I'm like going to be touching everything again. And also to like, if you feel like you, because uh, sometimes too, I'm, I'm like that also where I have to open drawers and touch other stuff. So if you feel like uh, your the blood has been compromised, you can always change out as well okay. as an option. They, was it the group I told you guys a story about when I was at SDA that one lady complained where I was wearing gloves right now, I was touching stuff, and then oh no, yeah. So I was at SDA this when we first started. <laughs> And then I, I think I forgot, I was looking for a needle, like a small needle, because you know, it's geriatric. And then I, I think I forgot to like change my gloves, so I opened a drawer, like one drawer. Yeah. And then I got it and I performed it and then I, I got in trouble, like um, my boss told me, oh, you, someone said that you, you were wearing gloves and you were touching everything. But I kind of knew who I was already, so. So yeah, it happens, so, you know, it's one of the learning process. Okay, since I had to touch equipment, I'm going to turn it right yeah. off again. Yeah, you can. Is there a sample of our equipment? Do we have to wear gloves? That part, you don't have to, but... Um, in front of the patient, it's yeah, yeah. Can, for I, sanitation reason. Yeah, I, I, I would. Because mm. some techs, they, they don't. Um, but I know, but for me, I just do it because since I'm touching it, since it's sterile, I want to make that test sterile. But you can touch it without gloves, but as long as you hand sanitize, yeah, it's fine. But I normally, I normally use it with gloves. Okay, so I'm going to put back the sanitizer to Just get this yep, the bottom one. Yep, perfect. And then the top, perfect. Okay, the tension. And then you put this on. Not yet. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. Usually, uh, you could assemble one. This was drying, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so how would you oh, stick? Oh, I touched it. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. So just uh, stick a little bit lower. It's fine. Okay. So with this one, it's kind of tricky as far as like... Uh, it's like close to Yeah. It. So try... Um, how would you position your hand like so you have control of it? Like so you're still supporting from here, mm -hmm. but at the same time to sticking from here. So the way you would do it is you would rest your finger. Okay, so maybe with this one, it's kind of different. So you would have to like maybe stretch it like this. Like that. Like this? Yeah, just like that. As long as you're either touching the patient or here is fine, because like, as long as they don't move. Like this? Yeah, so when you go in, it would be actually going, you would just follow the path here. So like this? Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And then okay. just keep in mind the, the black button, your, oh. yeah, so just at the tip there. Okay. So it's kind of tricky because it's the edge here. Yeah. So as long as you're touching your hand here for support, and uh, you have control of the needle. And then your other hand here is, is anchoring the vein. And then, yeah, that could just hang here. And then, yeah, just okay. yeah, just like that. Perfect. This is exactly right. This is perfect right here. Do you feel okay. comfortable, more control of the needle? So you are holding here. Even though you're not holding me, you're holding the, the full body chair because mm -hmm. you have supported the needle. Good. Okay. Anchor. Perfect. Perfect. Straight. Perfect. Okay. So it's exactly just how you're holding it. Okay. Okay. So take your time. And then whenever you're ready, you can remove that needle. Or are you going to practice, like, you know, supporting and then practice going in and stuff like that? Okay, I'm okay. gonna. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then just keep in mind the black button. Mm -hmm. uh, it 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 acts. It can actually be pressed. Okay, so just take it. Take your time. So whenever you're, you have support of my hand, mm -hmm. and then you just go in. Okay. Okay. Deep breath. Oh, that was a good stick. I saw that. Good job. Oh, Especially for the, yeah. Especially for the handle, mm -hmm. it's stick. Okay, yeah. really so this good. one's kind of tricky here. Oh. So since, no, no, you're fine. You can let go. You can let go. Okay. Completely is fine because you untangled it, and you can't really put tape because it won't stick anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you can let go. Like this is fine. As okay. long as you flash, okay, and then 
So ahead. I can let it go? Eventually? Yeah, yeah. Yep, just like that. Because right. okay, you normally know, the butterfly in the hand, it won't go anywhere. It won't fall off or anything. Oh. <laughs> okay, so perfect. Okay, so just oh, pretend that's the last tube. What would you do? Okay, let me just untie okay, the tie it. Perfect. Okay. And, and then, then, what can you remove after that? Um, what else? <laughs> I know I'm looking at it. No, 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 you're fine. So with this one, so since you took the tourniquet, mm -hmm. you can now remove the tube. So you can remove it at the same time twist going up. Perfect, just like that. Okay. okay, and then invert how many times? Eight. Eight to ten times, perfect. And then normally this one, yeah, you could just set this aside here. And okay. On the side, yeah. So there you go. Set this aside. Yeah, and then, so yeah, make sure it doesn't fall. Okay, and then get your gauze, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then just place it on top, and then you could just practice pressing the button for this week. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna yeah. release the needle. Perfect, and then have me apply direct okay. pressure. Please apply pressure. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then well, since there's blood in the line, you can actually get it from the line. So go and get your tube, okay. and see if there's enough vacuum there. You'll, you you guys can see it come out, or go in the tube. Wait a second, there. Ooh. Yeah. It's yeah, it did. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, there's enough vacuum. Okay. So if there's blood in the line, you can actually reinsert the tube in, and then you would just invert again. Okay. So you have mixed mix the blood or the additives in there. Okay, perfect. And then what would you do? What, oh, sorry. Just continue whatever you're doing. So, yeah, let me just dispose okay, perfect. the needle. Nice. And then um, you're applying pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm applying pressure. And then I... Or before you okay. bandage the, pa the patient, because if you bandage me now, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you have to do something before I leave. What do you do by bedside, or what do you have to do in the room um, before you? Oh, yeah. So okay, let would, me just label your two. Yeah. So you would put the sticker on, and then once the sticker's on, you would okay. you would um, put the date and time. Date time and your my initials. So, okay, go ahead and do that. So Perfect. Okay. okay. So that so let's say you already labeled your tube. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do with a tube in the requisition? I give it to the tech. Okay, go ahead and do the tech. Okay, so now you can go back to the patient. Okay. Okay, and, and then. So I'm just going to bend these. Okay, perfect. You already have the tape prep, good. And then you're good to go. Thank okay, you. Okay, good to go. And then you can just let the stuff for the patient leave. Okay, I'm gone. And then so, now you just clean up. Clean up, yeah. Here. Oh, for the thing, we'll just save the thing. Okay. Yeah, so and then you just throw away the rest. Okay. Yeah, and then actually, yeah, go ahead and talk everything and then how you would redo it. And then just, just go through the, the motions of everything. So ball everything up in your glove, okay. throw it away, and then do the last part. Okay, go ahead and throw it in. Perfect. Okay, and then do the last, uh, what's the last part? And then you sanitize. And sanitize. Perfect. Okay. So when you hand tied, then that's when you move on to the next station. Okay. okay. Perfect. Then you would come here for bottomless for today. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be drawing some blood from you. Okay. Um, can you just do me a favor and just verify your name and also your date of birth? Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Ramon Lasco, date of birth 10 6 Okay. Great. All right. And then we'll just review, pretty much review the, mm -hmm. the, the request form and then just ask. Um, have you consumed anything within the last eight to twelve hours mm -hmm. for fasting? Okay, so I yeah, yeah I haven't eaten anything. I only drank water. Water is fine. Okay, okay. Perfect. All right. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just set this one aside, and after that, um, put a tourniquet, and can I? Uh, sure. Oh, but before you put on the what are you supposed to do? Like before you touch the patient or uh, check for the arm? You're oh, sanitize. Yeah, sanitize. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, two, four inches. Sorry, that's the rest of it. I thought it was going to be. Okay. Are you okay, sir? Mm hmm. Good tension. 
just want to make sure you're good. Okay. And it's an option for you, like, if you want to decide whether to have me hold here, like this, or... Hold Can like I have this. you uh, just hold up the fist? Okay. Yeah. Alright. So now we're going to look for your vein, okay? Okay. Can I use this one? Yeah, either one is fine. Whichever you feel comfortable using. Okay. Yeah, I'll use this. Okay. 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 So now you found your vein. Go ahead and. I can release, release. this. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So now let's just um, Are you okay, sir? Yes, I'm good. Alright. Is this your first time getting your blood done? Yes, first time. Okay. All right. My first time also. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> 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 Alright, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sometimes they ask, like, you know, like some of the patients. Because they're very, they're very keen to, like, how you, how you move around as a salonist. And sometimes they'll ask, like, oh, is this your first time doing this? They'll ask questions, and sometimes you kind of, like, you know, mess with them in a way. But, the point where they don't want us no more. Or, you know, <laughs> it's just to maintain that that atmosphere is like we're just joking around and stuff. All right. So can you just make the fist again, please? Okay. Right. I'm gonna get your bean right there, okay? Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna set up the equipment. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Put this here first. Where is the tape? Sorry. No, 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 no. Don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Usually, if like the first time I see a needle, I'll be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> can I already prepare the guards too? Yeah, you can. Okay. Definitely, yeah. So just prepare everything how you how you want it. Uh, so everything's within reach, pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah. So as long as it's within reach, it should be good. Okay. okay. So, all right, sir. Here we go. We're gonna get your blood now. Okay. Let me apply your tourniquet again. Okay. Let me know if it's tight. Okay. If it's too tight, I'm doing my job. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Is it good? Yep. Can you make a fist for me? Okay. Want to verify? Fine. Okay. All right, sir. And also to like let's say for the vein that um, after you clean it, put in the you don't you don't know where it's at or uh, you can either touch below uh -huh. or above just to verify. Right. Yeah. So you can touch here. Yeah. Here, yep. right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it right there. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to uncap. Okay. For this one here, like the placement, since it's the hand, mm -hmm. it's kind of. Um, hard, not really hard, but 
just for placement because you have limited area where to rest your fingers so just try your best like you know, where you feel comfortable uh, anchoring at the same time too you uh, stick you know anchor also your, your your fingers too so yeah like that exactly okay okay so three, one two three So for this one, you could just try to uh, pull back out a bit. Okay, and then go... Oh, okay, pull back some more. Okay, and then just turn it this way. Yeah, you could also do this. You could just feel here too. Uh -huh. If there's any... Just feel for the vein. Just there. Okay, right here. I got it. Can I, can I poke again on the top? Or actually, uh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, you could just try advancing it slowly. So, so it's already halfway point already. So just pull back a little bit, and then just try to pull back, and then as long as the bevel doesn't come out, and then go to the direction of the vein that you think it is. Okay, but don't go in like um, if it's too far. Uh, don't go into so for this one here because you know usually for the back of the hand it's usually superficial yeah i think you're like right above it but i think it is can i dig in again for it yeah but just pull back and then realign and then go in slowly i think i'm right here you got the You okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there. Again. Hold on. Let me see if it's just on the surface. Because sometimes with these butterflies, they hold here. The veins on the hand is like, it's not deeper? Or? Yeah, it's more of like, it's, um, it's it's very superficial. That's why it's it's um, when you go through one through it, it's kind of like because okay. it's, it's right there on the top. Right. You feel it, yeah. But usually it's easy to go. Um, Just do three sixty with the needle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So we'll just start. Out, let's say you, there's blood already. Okay. So yeah. let's say okay. there's blood. Okay. So we'll we'll do the process. So so you see a flash there. Uh -huh. Okay. So there's a flash already. So what do you do? How do you secure the needle? Uh, I can. Oh yeah, you could actually put it here and. Uh, or I can put it there. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and then. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just okay. put the tape right here. There you go. Perfect. Okay, and then, then go ahead and just do your tube. Okay. Okay. And then. Okay, and then let's say, uh, tubes, um, blood's flowing in there. You already did the tube. Okay, so that's the last tube. Before you remove it, what do you remove? You turn it. Okay, turn it. Perfect. Okay. okay, so after you remove the tourniquet, you can remove the tube, <laughs> perfect, while in motion, and then invert, perfect. Okay, so once you invert it, eight to ten times, okay, then you could um, set your sample down, perfect. Okay, so at this point now you can remove the needle, but before you remove the needle, what do you have to put at <coughs> the top? Or, um, we'll practice pressing the button. Yeah. Okay, so b before you press okay. the button, go ahead and get your gauze, okay, and then just put it on top of the needle. And then just uh, hold the gauze in place, and at the same time, uh, press the button. Okay, that button right there. Take your fingertips. There you go. Okay, and then uh, have me. Can you have? An, can you apply some pressure? Perfect. On okay, that? I'm applying pressure. All right. And then what do you do with that needle? I can. Uh, can I? Yeah, you can pull oh, it out. You can, can pull, pull the whole thing out. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you can pull the whole thing out. Okay. And then the, and the tape too. Oh. Yeah. Or you can even use that as to tape the stuff to later. So either way, it's fine. Yeah, okay. so I just hold this, I'll put this aside yeah, that's fine, so we yeah. don't run away. Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is... Or no, since you already press the button, yeah. you don't need to catch it no more. Okay. Because you already um, pulled the... Uh, right. Or pressed it already. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so I can just put it in the sharp container? Yeah, mm -hmm. put it directly into the sharp container. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Alright. Okay. And then after you threw, uh, throw away the needle, uh, what do you do with the sample? Uh, give the sample... Oh, shoot. I will uh, label the sample. Okay, put the sticker on it. Okay, and then 
And what three things do you write? Minus two and then I'm three. Comfortable okay. with this one though. Three is D nineteen. Okay. And then also <coughs> D time. Time, yes. Okay, okay so once you're okay. doing all of that, what do you do with um, usually also uh, it'll accompany the requisition, I forgot to mention that. So uh, normally when you're done drawing blood, you would bring the requisition together because right. these kind of go hand in hand so it tells the tech on what the test is ordered. Yeah. So go ahead and drop that to, I'll drop it yeah, to, drop it to the tech. Okay, the requisition and the blood. Analyze this. Perfect. And after okay. that, I'm probably good to go. Um, can we just continue mm -hmm. apply pressure? Okay, perfect. Put the tape right here. Okay, good. I just want to say thank you very much for your cooperation. Um, and um, yeah, I'll just start the cleanup and everything. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now you can release the patient and then you, you clean up the area. Yes. And then once you clean the area, you ball everything in your glove, what's the last thing that you do? Sanitize. Hand sanitize. Perfect. Yes. Can you please state your name and date of birth? Sure. Uh, Rosalba Roscoe, date of birth uh, 10 16 1682. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong. Um, Good cat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and normally, you would, what would you do? Like, let's say it's the wrong date of birth. Okay. So we're just gonna give you scenarios that's out of the ordinary. So what would you do? Like, say, patient say something like totally different. Oh, name is the same, but date of birth is completely off. What would you do? Um, I don't know. Find another people. I don't know. Yes, exactly. So exactly what you said. Like, you would verify. The correct patient say, oh, uh, I would go to the tech whoever gave them and say, oh, this patient is not what they're saying is. Can you verify this is the one? Maybe I have the wrong shit. Okay. Usually, if it's, if it's usually printed out, it's on the hospital end. Oh, so okay. they would verify it and then give you the right one usually. Okay. So let's say you have the right one. So 10-6-98. Um, yes. Okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Um, um, yeah. Allergies. No, nothing. Okay. Have okay. you ever... Did you have anything within the last 10 to 12 hours? Uh, no, I didn't have anything. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check the vein. Okay. Okay, and so yeah, so you can use whatever arm you want, so it's not limited to this. Let's just arm. use this. Can you please take off your watch and your ring and your t shirt? <laughs> 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 okay, what? <laughs> Two rings. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually. Tell the patient, like, if it works for you, like a watch especially, or anything that will obstruct, you can have them remove it. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, if, if you're sticking and then the watch is in the way, or you can't put a tourniquet, then it will affect you. So you can you can give instruction to the patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the funny story. I did tell you guys about that patient where... She was wearing a very um, blouse was really up to up to here, and then she she couldn't pull it up all the way, so she had to like, remove her blouse. Did I tell you guys that story? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so she removed like half here, and then and I had to call a female for bottom. So like, oh, can you just draw her? Because I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, sorry. Can you make up this? Sorry, let's do this. Okay. But yeah, you'll encounter like different kinds of patients. Okay, I'll do this one. That one there. If it's like something like this, right, the V, we have to do like up here? Uh, like this? No, that's fine. As long as when you, whenever you enter, mm -hmm. it still maintains, like if it's still going straight, you could enter here and then the bevel will end up somewhere here. As long as you're in the same path, it's fine. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, so whichever, how you want, so. Um, okay, I'll just do this because I need okay. space. You want me to just hold the fist out of this or make a hold here? It's up to you. Um, I think the fist is good. The fist is good? Okay. Again, right? Oh, but this one, no, you don't have to. Oh, okay. Because usually when you sanitize, it makes it hard to put on gloves. So, uh, yeah, you can just wipe it out. And then, so once you find the vein, you can just go straight to the gloves. So gloves okay. um, have to be worn when you clean the site. Okay. Go straight to the gloves. See, one thing about doing like the whole experience, even though you know it, you run it by your head, when you're actually doing it, it's kind of harder. It's right? different. Yeah, it's different. It feels when different. You're actually yeah. Doing it because, because <clears throat> usually, like when when I know the answer, like oh, I know it's next, I know. But when I'm there performing it, it's like <laughs> I blank out. See? So that's where that's where you guys um, 
uh, learn the, for the most part. And just try to figure out everything as, as you go. And doing, doing the action is the most part. Mm. What was your previous patient experience? Oh, ER patients. I had this one. <laughs> yeah, he was like a druggie or something. So, oh. so <laughs> he, yeah, he had to be held down with straps or he had to be. Um, he was brought to the ER. He was with a cop. And then we had to have blood work done because I think it was in an accident or something. Mm -hmm. And the nurse called me. We had to have his blood drawn. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're in the ER and there's like four guys, right? Just all male. Three male nurses and just me. And, there's, and then he was already, you know, we were holding him down because we were wow. supposed to strap him. Yeah. And the guy was um, holding his right foot, but he, you know, he was too strong. So, of course, he tried to kick me. Mm -hmm. So they held him down. <laughs> and then he was only wearing like a like it was hospital gown, so he was struggling, struggling. Yeah. And then we finally got him down. And then the nurse, the nurse um, actually was talking to him, like you know, like, yeah, blah blah blah, he's gonna keep so this and that, want to strap down, mm -hmm. and he spit in his face. Yeah, he spit in his face, and then he yeah, spit so, at the nurse's face. Yeah, the male wow. nurse's face. Oh wow. wow. And then I was like, everyone was taken aback and. So if that's the case, he's like refusing to get yeah. his blood drawn, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or but he, he, the thing is, he, he's in that position where, where he can do it, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. detained. Yeah, he's, he's detained, so because it's for yeah. blood alcohol levels. Is that the custody thing? Yeah. Oh, the custody, yeah. right? So you have to Yeah, <clears throat> Yeah, to... it's through the court of law, because he's... Oh. I'm not sure what happened with his accident, uh -huh. but yeah, that was the craziest thing about it, yeah. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, and but when he was moving around, like, his wallet <laughs> fell, and there's like money on the floor, and... Oh, and yeah. and, it was crazy. Did you take his money? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you're working hard late at night and then yeah, you have to deal with this druggie. Yeah. And this will take his money. Exactly. Okay, I forgot I'm doing this one. Take good. Oh, and you get, if you guys stick and then you guys do this with your eyes closed, you guys get points. Oh, bro? Eyes closed? No, I'm just messing. That's, you already passed. <laughs> I'm going to tell my patients, oh, you don't have to look because I won't too. <laughs> Sometimes the patient cover their eyes, huh? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, I yeah. normally tell them if they're too scared, like, you don't have to look. Okay, so would you, um... Oh, yeah, she said we can fish, right? Perfect placement, yeah, nice. Just like that. Oh, but yeah, the, the, yeah. Perfect. But well, yeah. Man, I'm so hungry. Oh, I thought you said nervous, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you're hungry, that's when uh. That's when you start shaking. Okay. Oh, you're good. Take your time, yeah. Okay. So just yeah, just do proper placement first, and then just whenever you're ready, yep, where you're um. comfortable. Oh, there you got it. Perfect. I see the, yeah, the flash. There's the f <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, yeah, for this one, you can actually let go on this oh, one okay. here. Yeah, you can oh, let go yeah, on this one. I put, I put two tapes here for me. There, yeah, there you go. Perfect. So, so, just practice the tape technique. So, what you're doing is, yeah, you're securing the needle there. Um, and then you could basically just let go of the. Um, what, the whole point of the tape here is so the needle won't like go up like this. Because mm -hmm. if you notice, if you stick the arm, mm -hmm. it's gonna fly. It's gonna go like this if you let go because it's not winded. So you're keeping it still, perfect. Okay, and then she got it in. She secured it. So go ahead. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, just the vacuum is just. But yeah, it's it's funny you got it. Yeah, that's actually a difficult thing. So it's really a tiny one. <laughs> so that's a good, uh, good job. <laughs> oh, just because the vacuum of the yeah, it's expired the tube. So oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, you hit the vein because it was going in. Yeah, yeah, I can take it off. Yeah, so let's oh, let's say this is your oh, yeah, my last yeah, one. Last one. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Okay. Invert. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, set so aside is fine. Good. Like this. Yep. And then we'll practice with the the button. So because since you guys didn't try that yet, so so just how know how it feels when you guys press it. Okay. Okay. And then uh, you could 
There you go. Yeah. So it's like a safety feature. Can I please apply pressure? Perfect. Sir? Okay. Where's the data and time? Okay. Or actually, what you can do is since it's blood and light, uh, how do oh, you? Oh yeah. Yeah. You could just go ahead and uh, just get the rest of blood from that line there and. Was there enough vacuum in there? Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah, just a little mm -hmm. vacuum in there. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Wait. Yeah, when I first also too, one of the things I, I did too was yeah. instead of drawing, uh, throwing away the cap, I threw away the blue too. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay. Okay. So before you pick me up, um, because I'm going to leave once you pick me up, so what can you do? Um, what do you do before you pick me up? Or, or what needs to be done? Or did you do it already? I'm done. Oh, sorry. Done. <laughs> oh, hell. You were talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, you're right. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I didn't see you label there. Uh, you're, you're, you're too quick. Okay. Okay. Hi. So, so uh, uh, hand ready. Okay. So. Um, you can go. Okay. Thank you. Thing. Perfect. Okay. And then um, uh, once I'm gone, once the baby's gone, what do you do? I clean up. Yeah, clean up. Okay. So clean up. Um, no, take your time. Nice. Okay, so you know that you stuck the vein because there's a flash. Okay, so at this point here, what you can do is you can let go. Okay, and then remember that tape I said earlier. So you can get the tape and then just put it just slightly here on the corner. Is this the one for the? Oh, oh. that's fine. What you can do is here. This is the tape for the, the gauze after. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so we'll just do it without the tape first. So so go ahead and get your tube. And then put it in, and you can always let go. This is fine; it won't come out. As long as you don't pull, tug on the line, and you have some leeway, it should be fine. So go ahead and pop it in, okay. And then at this point here, what you can do, since it's flowing, you can actually pick it up a bit. There you go. Okay. See how you? No, pick it up. Hold it up. There you go. There you go. Just slightly there. There you go. Okay. So when you're holding it, because if it's uh, hanging downwards, mm -hmm. the bevels against the wall. So if you raise it slightly, what like what you did, okay. So let's just raise it a little bit higher. Okay. Yeah, just a vacuum. Oh yeah, you got it. So yeah, it should flow much more faster. Okay, is it flowing a bit faster? Mm. Yeah. So so because you raise it just a bit. Okay. So let's say that's the last tube and the only tube. Before you move the last tube, what are you supposed to do? Mm, okay. Okay. When you turn it, go ahead. Okay. Perfect. Just like that. Nice. Okay. Set that aside and then go ahead and remove your tube. Okay. Perfect, invert, nice. Okay, and then you can set that down. And then this one here, yeah, you can, it's perfect just like that. Okay, and then you're ready to remove. So in this case here, uh, since last week you did the pull out method, and then, you know, for experience wise, uh -huh. I want you to press on the button. Okay, so go ahead and, and fold, and then hold it, cover the needle, and then push down. There you go, perfect. And then apply pressure. Apply pressure. Okay, apply pressure, nice. Make sure the patient. Now apply pressure. And then what you can do also, oh, before you do this, uh -huh. You still have blood in the line. What you can do is get your tube again and get the remaining blood in the line. See, so is this enough vacuum? If not, it's fine. Yeah, there's no more vacuum. So go ahead and remove the tube. What do you do with it?